Hello and welcome to Motivation Monday for NLF Live. And today you can see, hopefully, on my screen that the motivating quote for the day is to keep moving forward. And the reason I pulled this up today is because I read an article uh, that was shared by one of my sorority sisters about um, changes that are potentially being made in Florida about voting rights for felons. And I think it's um, really interesting that Florida probably disenfranchises the most people out of any state there is. There's actually only three states right now where voting rights aren't automatically restored, Florida being one of them. On the other hand, in California, when somebody has been convicted of a crime, as long as they are not in federal or state prison um, or found incompetent or under the age of 18 and so on, they um, are able to vote. They can actually register to vote while they're serving a sentence in county jail. Once they're released from jail, they're eligible to vote again. Their voting rights are automatically restored. And I think this is important because it goes to the whole like pushing forward and not being a, you know, perpetual victim of your circumstance or um, not being caught in this rut of mass incarceration where, you know, you're not only, your, your body's not only enslaved, but now your, your rights um, as a citizen of the United States um, have been taken away and have been taken away almost permanently. Um, so I think it's really great that California is at least far more progressive than some other states. And um, we, you know, I've actually had clients come to me who thought that they weren't allowed to vote because they had been convicted of a crime. This is far long after they had been released from custody and long after their case was over and they had never even gone to state prison. But it's because there's this, um, notion that once you're convicted of a felony, you can no longer vote. Um, so it's important to know that a misdemeanor conviction is not going to uh, affect your right to vote. Uh, being convicted of a felony is not going to affect your right to vote. If you're only sent to county jail, you'll be able to vote, um, especially immediately upon release. And um, if you have been convicted of a serious crime and you're actually sent off to state prison, then you're um, faced with the uh, possibility of being, or then you're faced with the consequences of being unable to vote. Uh, so when it comes down to it, can felons in California vote? The answer for the most part is yes, unless you're serving a state prison sentence. Um, don't lose out on your rights. Keep moving forward. Make sure you know um, and stay informed because knowledge is power. And um, it's scary to think that some other states are really just bent on keep, keeping people down. Um, and I'm not saying that there aren't circumstances that happen in California that are disheartening and disappointing, but at least um, we have a means for people just starting fresh and moving forward even though um, mistakes have been made in the past. I mean, our mission here is really to restore the reputation of people who've been accused of crimes and help them plan for a better future. And whatever it takes, day by day, we're going to continue striving towards that goal. So thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.